Are you having trouble getting your Nest camera to record events? Well, we've got you covered. Nest cameras failing to record events is a pretty nasty issue, so stay around till the end and try all the troubleshooting steps that I mentioned in this video to finally get your Nest cameras back in action. Nest cameras come with motion detection enabled by default, but if for some reason it's not enabled, your camera will no longer detect motion. But you can always hop into the app to check and enable motion detection. On the Google Home app, open the settings menu of your camera and select events and the scene events to enable or disable motion detection. You can also find various other detection related settings like activity zones here. Configure them to your liking to get the best results. Users with a Nest Aware subscription can find a bunch of detection and alert features within this menu such as familiar face alerts, package detection, person speaking alerts, etc. Speaking of Nest Aware, make sure that your subscription is up to date as well. Your camera may not record events if you have an expired subscription. If you have trouble recording at night, from the same settings menu, select video and then toggle night vision to either always on or auto. Now, if you can't get even alerts from your camera, you might need to check the notification settings of your Google Home app. To access the notification settings, open the settings tab of your camera and tap on the notifications type. Enable or disable the notification options you want from there. Mounting your Nest cameras in a favorable location is very important if you want to get the most out of your Nest camera's ability to record events. Placing your Nest cameras in a location with a lot of unwarranted movements and obstacles can make the camera ignore motion activity. Generally, elevated surfaces like a pole or a high wall with minimum obstacles like trees are generally preferred for outdoor cameras. With indoor cameras, mount the camera on a relatively flat surface like on a shelf where you get the best field of view. Power is crucial for all electronic gadgets and Nest cameras are no exception. The first thing to do is to check if your camera is getting sufficient power for its operation. Damaged cables, power adapters and broken power outlets can limit the power supply to your camera. So run a thorough check for damage and rust in your cables and your power adapter. If you find any such issues, get your part replaced, preferably from Google or a reputed brand. If it's the outlet that's at fault, consider plugging in your Nest camera to a different power outlet. In the case of battery-powered Nest cameras, check if the batteries have enough power to sustain the operations of your camera. Some Nest camera models, like the Nest Cam IQ, light up red to indicate an issue with its power supply. If you can't find any issues with your power accessories, consider power cycling your Nest camera. All you have to do is unplug your camera from its power source and plug it back in after a minute. Your Nest camera should now be rebooted, getting rid of any power related issues. A stable network connection is vital for your Nest camera to operate at its fullest. If the network connection is unstable, issues will pop up not only on the Nest camera but also the Google Home app. So, it's crucial to establish a connection between your Nest camera and the Google Home app. The best way to check your network connection status is to connect a different device like your phone to the same network that you're using to connect your Nest camera. You can run a speed test application to check the speeds and latency of your network. If you do come across issues with your network, try power cycling your internet router. Unplug your router from power and plug it back in after a minute. Switching the network of your Nest camera can also help, but to change the network, you'll have to first remove the device from the Google Home app and set it up again. Hop on to the Google Home app and open the Settings tab of your Nest camera. Click on Remove Device and confirm to delete it from the app successfully. Next, restart the camera and wait for the blue light to come. Then, proceed with the setup till you get to the Networks menu. Input the credentials of your other network and you're good to go. Nest cameras can connect to a 2.4 GHz as well as a 5 GHz Wi-Fi network, so play around with both of the bands and use what works best for you. If you have further queries, feel free to comment down below and I'll be sure to help you out. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Nest camera content.